It's difficult to choose from the many highlights of four years as UK ambassador to Kazakhstan. What comes to mind? Physically moving the embassy from Almaty to its new home in the city now called Nur Sultan. Meeting the hugely talented Kazakhstani students who headed to the UK on Bolashak or Chevening scholarships. The impressive showings of UK companies at the Kazakhstan International Oil and Gas Exhibition in Almaty. Their work with Kazakhstani partners supporting the development of the country. Working with civil society organisations across such diverse activities as improving the quality of parliamentary journalism or promoting the public monitoring of detention facilities. High-level visits, of course. The England-Kazakhstan World Cup qualifier in Almaty in 2009. Above all, though, my memories are of a beautiful country and great people. It was a real pleasure to get to experience the diverse landscapes of the world's ninth largest country, what the late writer Christopher Robbins described as the land that disappeared, a reference to its being too little known internationally. I recall one local leave when I booked a package holiday to the Rachmanov Springs Sanatorium in the Altai Mountains. I duly turned up at the appointed meeting place outside the ice hockey stadium in Uskomenogorsk. There was the tour bus, an ancient and battered Ural truck decorated with worn paintings of Maral deer to try and give it a holiday feel. It duly broke down, somewhere close to the Buktama Reservoir. At that point, utterly unfazed, a group of male fellow holidaymakers on the bus cheerfully started dismantling the engine, while the women produced sandwiches and jars of pickled cucumbers. None having evidently trusted the promised all-inclusive catering. A miner from Zryanovsk opened the first of what was to prove an endless supply of vodka bottles. Glasses and plastic beakers were passed around, and he addressed me in what seemed to be the two words of English he proudly knew. Little drink? That summarised for me the resourcefulness and hospitality of the Kazakhstani people.